No, no. <laughs> okay, first thing we need to make that creepy doll. She's actually pretty simple to model. I bring out the reference from the show. Starting from the neck, I extruded the cube, extruded down to her skirt. Doing the same thing with the legs and the shoulders. Now we got a simple shape that we're gonna smooth out later. And a separate the sphere for the parts where her arms rotate and another cube for the lower arms. And for the hands, I added a few loop cuts and extrude for each finger. Then I smooth out the mesh using subdivision surface modifier. I added a sphere for the head, then I start shaping it based on the reference. I added a multi res modifier instead of subdivision surface. Then I start sculpting the clothes, wrinkles and other details. Now it's time to sculpt the head. I push in the eye socket, push out the nose and the mouth part using the grab tool. Then using crease tool I sculpt the lips, shape the nose and carve in the nostrils. Pronounce the eyes a bit more, added a sphere for the ears and sculpted it. Then going into x-ray mode, I tried to get it as close to the reference. After the topology, I added another layer to the head, then start sculpting the hair. I UV unwrapped the whole thing and started the painting. It's a simple yellow and orange dress, so I'm not going too hard on it. For the face, I added a hint of red to the cheeks, then a red color for the lips. Gave a black color to the eyes, now she's almost ready. Okay, let's create the scene now. I added a plane for the ground and scaled it up. Found a good texture from Quixel Bridge Library, then applied it to the ground. Select the sides and extruded up for the walls. Then found a similar picture to the show to put it all over the walls. I imported a tree that I find in Turbo Squid for free. Then turned her around so she could face the tree. I cut a hole in the wall where they shoot people. Then saved the cutout part for later. Made a cylinder with a hole inside for the gun. Then placed it in the window. Mess around with the HDRI maps to get a better result. The end line is right behind her. So I added a mix RGB node and connect a new image to it. Then in the texture paint tab, I drew a pink line where the game ends. The bottom part of the wall should be dirty. I added a mix RGB node again, but this time I added a noise texture instead of image. Then combined it with a gradient node. Rotate it to the bottom to fade out the top. Now by blending it with the image, we have a dirty wall. Now it's time to set up the camera. I'm selecting the camera, bringing out the timeline section, going back to first frame and make a key frame at the starting point of our camera. You can make a keyframe by pressing I and select location, rotation and scale. Now I go to the last frame, move the camera in the direction that I like and make a keyframe there. Now we have a moving camera. I turn the timeline into graph editor, select the X rotation, then add noise modifier, scale it up and decrease in the strength to add that handheld feeling to the camera. Doing the same thing with the Z rotation so it looks like he's looking around. Animating the window using the same method that we did with the camera. Just move and make a keyframe. Also same method for the gun and the turning head. It is almost done. Now it's time to add the finishing touches. I added a film grain to make it more cinematic. Then adjust the colors using curve. And we are finished. I added some sounds and finished the project in Premiere Pro. And this is it. <laughs> No, no. You know, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification and we are good. You can find the real time process of this character and the scene in my Gumroad and Patreon page. Peace.